Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So I have something that is mind-blowing, amazing, something that I am in love with, the new Bellamy and Nikita Dragon wigs. This is one of the boxes. Let me show you what it looked like when it came in. It's so big, I will try to fit it on camera. This is what I received and this has all three dragon wigs inside it has the dragon like claws on there like slow-mo i'm obsessed you guys know that i love wigs i love changing up my look and changing up my hair using wigs and not so much like dyeing my hair because i like to keep my hair healthy and it's just easier that way to switch up your look using a wig and plus i can't commit to like one color i would want like all colors and wigs are the easiest way to change up your look very very quickly and they're so much fun. They also just help keep your hair healthy because you don't have to style your hair when you wear wigs. I wear wigs almost every single day. I am usually always wearing a wig. And when I'm not, it's usually like an off day for me and I'm like editing or just relaxing. I do tend to wear them a lot. So I feel like I've become pretty knowledgeable about wigs. And when I saw that Nikki Dragon and Bellamy were coming out with these wigs, I was so 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 excited and plus it is really hard to find straight wigs that are actually like pin straight with roots and also just very bright it's really hard to find that combination i have looked everywhere for straight blue with roots couldn't find it anywhere but when i saw this one safira i was so excited to receive it so bella me did send me these wigs this video is not sponsored i just really like to share these products with you guys when they launch all right so we're going to be reviewing three wigs today. You got Cassie, which I am wearing right now, which is the pink. Fira is the blue, like a minty blue, my fave. And then we have Khaleesi, which is the icy platinum blonde. These wigs retail for $169.99 on Bellamy's website. These are more expensive than the average synthetic wig because you are also getting a lot of accessories with this wig. And I'll explain those as well. And this is a very high quality synthetic lace front wig. First of all, this feels extremely light on my head right now, which a lot of wigs feel really, really heavy. This one feels super light. I feel like the texture of it is very soft and feels really nice. And also the root and parting area of these wigs look extremely real. These wigs have clips all throughout with a strap and there is lots of protection when wearing this. It is not going to come off your head. And as you can see, the lace is made beautifully. You can see right through the root area, which makes it really realistic looking. The shine on these is not too much either. It's not like super shiny or overly shiny. And overall, I was really impressed. They are 28 inches long, so they are pretty long. And you can see here how long they actually are. When it comes to synthetic wigs, you can style them on a low heat setting. I typically don't, although I have before. I have actually curled a wig and how I did it was I used just like hot rollers to do it. I didn't use a wand or a curling iron. I just took some hot rollers and rolled it around the wig and it ended up waving it. So if you did want to wave these out, I would suggest using the hot rollers. The circumference of the wig and the strap inside is pretty standard, so it should fit every head. It is adjustable, so you can tighten up this wig if you wanted it to be more tight on your head. I did tighten this up pretty good so it lays really flat. And another thing I wanted to mention is there's like no bumps up here in the top. It is so flat against my head right now that that's what I love so much about it that it looks really, really real. So I kind of want to jump into the video and show you guys everything that you get when you purchase this wig. I'm going to show you how I put it on. I'm going to give you all the details. I'm going to give you the lowdown, so don't worry. Please let me know down below if you are enjoying it so far. Like this video and subscribe if you're new here and join our fam. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video today. I am excited to get wiggy with you guys. You guys know how I feel about wigs. I'm a little obsessed. Honestly, I feel like once you get into wigs, you start to become obsessed and you just want more and more and more and more and you just cannot stop. I'm sorry if that happens to you. It's kind of like a wig thing, a wig person thing. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, guys. So we have three wigs to look at and get into unbox. So all three of the wigs came in this really big box. It fit all of them inside of it. And this is the box you've probably seen in the promos where Nikita is like doing this number. I actually did that on Snapchat. I couldn't help myself. This is what you're supposed to do, just so you know. So I think that's a really cool concept because she is a, a dragon putting these dragon, you know, claw, clawings. Putting these dragon like clawings in the box is pretty cool. I like that. And they're actually like holographic. And I'm quickly going to show you guys the inside of the box. The box is almost bigger than me. 
So all of the wigs are in here. So I'm guessing not everybody is going to purchase all three wigs, but if you do go for one, you'll receive it in this box. And this is very similar to the PR box I received, but it is, you know, just containing that one single wig. And it has, you know, the dragon symbol and also these, you know, detailings with dragon scales over the front of it. So in here, we have the wig. I did already open this wig so it doesn't look as perfect as it did when I got it. I was really excited about Safira because I have looked high and low for a blue lace front wig that is like the perfect shade of blue. It's not like too, too blue and it's straight. Like they're literally so hard to find. When you receive your wig, it is packaged really nicely. It is inside of a really large plastic bag, but it does have some padding inside of the wig as well as like a hairnet around it to make sure that it's just really nice and combed straightly in the bag. You never want to shove your wig inside of a bag without properly combing it. It can really damage the wig and make its lifespan a lot shorter than taking care of it. So just make sure when you are putting it back in this bag that you comb it really nicely and you try to keep it as straight as possible when putting it in the bag. The more you kind of scrunch your wig around and you just don't care, the lifespan of the wig is just going to be only like a few months. It will, will not last very long. So just make sure you're taking good care of your wig. So in here we have some mattifying powder, which I think is really nice. We're going to be using this when we style the wig. It does come with a brush. This is a Bellamy wood brush. I have a couple of these. I do like them for wigs and I think that they come the hair really nicely without overly combing it and making it really fluffy and frizzy. There is synthetic wig care instructions. If you're interested in looking at those, you will receive it with your wig. You also get a wig cap, so this is always needed when wearing a wig. Guys, I have literally, I've had some tough times. I've left my wig cap at home numerous times I've been traveling. I've taken a pair of pantyhose, I've cut them, and I've used that as my wig cap because I didn't have one and it worked fine. But please learn from me, like, Keep this with your wig at all times. Don't separate it because if you do lose it and you're going on a trip, you're gonna have to use your pantyhose. It works. If you need something, like if you really, really need it and like you don't have this with you or you lose it, pantyhose does work. But one thing that I really love about Bellamy is that they include so many other products with the main products you're purchasing. They just include lots of tools and helpful things. This is one of them. This is a wig stand. This is just a black wig stand you can put in your beauty room. You can put it on your desk, wherever you're at, where you do your hair. This is really nice because at the end of the day, after you're done wearing your wig, you can place it on the stand, which will keep it nice and straight and it will not get tangled this way. I highly suggest you guys use this. You never want to throw your wig around the room. I know we all have those days. I sometimes do very often and I hate when I do that. It actually will ruin the texture of the hair. It also comes with this beautiful silk bag and I do like these to store my wig in when I'm traveling or I use these for extensions. So this is what the wig looks like out of the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take the net off. Here is a look at the wig. You can see it's like a minty blue. It is definitely not like a super vibrant blue, but I do think this is way more wearable than like a really bright blue. This is something that I definitely would wear and I love it. So let's talk about the texture of the hair for a second. I feel like this hair feels almost like, even though it's a synthetic, it feels like it is a mixture of human in here. I know it's not, but they did a really great job at making these hairs feel very, very real. It is about a medium thickness. It's not overly thick like most synthetic wigs are. This actually looks very much so like real hair. So I am very happy with that. I can see they did drag some of that brown root color throughout this wig. So you are going to see some light brown coloring mixed in with this mint. The roots are very light. They are ombre, they are lighter than my hair, but I think I'm going to be able to make it work because the front of my hair is over here are pretty light too, so I think that, I think it'll be okay. I have some wigs that are actually this color in the root area. I normally wear a lot darker of a root. It is very, very straight, and I'm pretty sure if you use a flat iron on a very low heat setting, you could get it even straighter than this. There's a few little kinks in it right now, but that's just because it was traveling in its package. Sometimes after you wear them for a little bit, they will just kind of start to go straight. I am using the brush to comb through it really quickly before we cut the lace. So this is a much better look at 
at the minty roots and the color and you can see the lace front here i was really really impressed with that root area normally you have to pluck this area or add some concealer the thing with wigs is sometimes they're just too thick they're way too thick and they look so so fake especially if you're wearing them out and the hairline on this is actually pretty thin up in here you can see straight through the lace you can see i have a wide part this is my real hair so everyone has a pretty wide parting area if this was extremely thick it would look a lot more fake so you don't want your wig to just have a thin line you want it to be pretty wide and it will look more real so this does have a lace front on it that's this little piece here that's the lace and we're going to go ahead and cut that off using a pair of scissors i like to go pretty close so i can make sure i get all of that lace off of the hairline of this wig you can just use a pair of scissors from home if you have a pair of tiny eyebrow scissors that works too but if you do have a nice sharp pair of scissors it is best to use that because if you do have a more dull pair, it is going to really ruin the lace of the wig. It'll make it very jagged. It won't be as straight. So I would suggest using a brand new pair of scissors or something that's very, very sharp to cut the lace. We have some clips in here that we're going to be using to pin the hair into. We do have a strap under here, which I do own other Bellamy wigs that do not have this strap on them. So I really appreciate that with this collab. And you do have some pins in here that we're going to stick into the hair that will secure it on. The last thing that you want is to go to an event, to go out, go on a date and have your wig sliding off. I've been there. I've been literally told before by someone your wig is sliding off and it is so embarrassing. You do not want your wig falling off in public. It is, it's kind of like ratchet, but it's also, it's like frowned upon. It's like having a booger. Like you don't want someone to see that. Like you don't want, or having food in your teeth, another thing. That's basically like the equivalent. And it's gonna take some getting used to to get your wig like perfectly on. It doesn't happen overnight. I still have like struggle days that my wig does not look good. So you just gotta keep trying every day and you will get your wig to look perfect. So I like to start at the edge of the lace first. And you wanna make sure that you cut all the way around and you really wanna make sure that you are not cutting into the hair or else it will thin the hair out. And I advise those of you who are cutting the lace to not cut the lace with it on your head. You will cut your baby hairs and you don't wanna do that. So I would suggest going ahead and just cutting it just how I am right now. Take your time with it, go slowly and make sure that you are just being very, very precise and not cutting into the hair. So now we've got that lace off the wig, we can actually put it on now. You can see that I've cut the lace now, I was pretty precise about it and I don't have any dangling edges going on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig cap on. So the nude is really nice because this is gonna match the lace front a lot better because it's not super dark and it's not super light. I'm just gonna take my hair down and with the cap, you just wanna go ahead put it on like so. I just do this, I like to twist my hair like this and I just tuck it into the back area and I like to push it up and once you twirl your hair like this into the cap it is going to be a little bit bulging in this area so you want to make sure that you scrunch your hair around and really flatten it out you want to make sure that you're pulling your hair apart as it's in the cap and then flattening it so you can see how I do that pull it apart move it around a little bit I do end up pulling this back a little bit more. I'm not an expert with these caps. I actually don't really wear these caps that often. I usually wear the full caps, but these do work just as well. Some people will like French braid their hair underneath the cap or they'll have braids on because it keeps the hair back really nicely. You can do that too, but if you're just wearing it for the day or for a certain look, you can just kind of pop this wig cap on like I did. So coming back to the wig, you have straps in here that will increase the tightness of the wig on your head. I usually go for the second latch inside the wig cap. You can see down here, it is on the second one to the last. So when you put on a wig like this with this strap, this is an adjustable strap inside, you're going to want to put it over your head like so and pull this strap back so it is nice and secure. And at this point, you can tighten it. I'm gonna tighten mine up. And you're gonna wanna pull this back So we have it on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out first. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out a little bit of my baby hairs using a thin end of a teasing brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out a few. And you just wanna pull out the tiniest amount of hair. I am just using this eyebrow cake powder to go in and fill in the root a little bit because this is so light at the roots that it's not really matching my baby hairs as much. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it match with this black shadow. You can just use a regular eyeshadow or dark brown, whatever matches your actual hair color. I was at a photo shoot once and the hairstylist there used this to really help conceal the root. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the dark brown magic root cover up from L'Oreal. I just sprayed it once onto my brush and I'm just going to make sure to place this in the root. So mattifying powder is really good for wigs because with most synthetic wigs, you do get a lot of shine going on. Like there's so, so much shine because it isn't real human hair. That's kind of how you can tell the difference between a human hair wig and then a synthetic wig. So using a mattifying powder or using dry shampoo is a great way to make it look more realistic. I'm just going to tap it into the shiny area, which is kind of where the light would hit it, which would naturally be like at the top of it, on the side of it a little bit. And I'm just going to lightly tap this in. I don't feel like this one needs much of the mattifying powder because it doesn't really look that fake to me. It looks really, really real. Like especially the hairline, I am so, so impressed. That's a really, 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 really good hairline. The mint color is really nice too, especially for this time of year. I think the mint is so much more nice than just like a super vibrant blue. It's really pretty for winter. It feels really lightweight. And with most wigs, they're just really heavy on the head. It feels like you're wearing a very big hat. And this actually feels very light. So I hope you guys love this one. I'm gonna show you the other colors now. I'm gonna be just doing the same thing I did with this one, cutting the lace and blending it the same way. But I want you guys to see what the other colors look like. So basically with the other wigs, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with Safira. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and just kind of apply it in the same manner I did before. Me with blonde hair is so weird. So now that the wig's on, I'm gonna go ahead and take those same steps, pulling out these baby hairs a little tiny bit. Little babies, nothing too long, cause then it's, my hair's way too dark and it will not look good. If you mess up, you can just kind of tuck it back in. So I really do like this wig. What do you guys think about me blonde? I'm never blonde. I'm always like colorful or dark hair, but I actually think that this is a really nice blonde wig. I like that it is platinum and it's not like a yellowy blonde. It is a really nice icy blonde, which I don't own. I have a really low shortage of blonde wigs. I don't have barely any of them. And this one I'm in love with. The icy blonde is perfect. This is like the perfect shade of blonde. Honestly, every time I look at blonde hair, this is the blonde that I would want. Like I love, love this icy white blonde. This is giving me like Lady Gaga the Countess or Gwen Stefani. Write down in the comments so far what your favorite has been, blonde or blue, blonde or blue. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling this blonde. I might have to wear this one more often because I really like it. And just so you can take a peek at the hair line, it looks amazing. It literally looks so, so good. This blonde one is Khaleesi, which is reminiscent of Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Don't kill me, I'm trying. I'm trying to get into it. I wanna like sit down and start it and just have like snacks and like become obsessed, you know? So I'm gonna take this baby off and show you guys Cassie. And just so you guys can see the clips in this wig, they're right here and you can just kind of do this 
I'm just kind of pressing it into the hair and then clip them down. They're just like extension clips that you put in for clip-in extensions. Those baby hairs out a little bit more. Oh, I really love this one and I love the blue one so much. I could see myself wearing those two the most out of all of these. Such a pretty like baby pink. I feel like this one and Sephira are definitely like in a tie. I love both of them. I could see myself wearing both of them very often and I'm really pleased with how soft they are. And I think that this shade of pink is perfect for me. I love baby pink. I don't really go for like darker pinks and I'm hashtag obsessed. I say obsessed a lot, if you guys haven't noticed. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with a lot of things. I'm obsessed with this wig, I'm obsessed with makeup, I'm obsessed with you guys. As you brush it, you can just brush right through it with no hassle at all. Here's the back. So these wigs are 28 inches, so they do go a little bit past the boob area. And I like the length, I think the length is really, really good. You can see the ends of the hair, how nicely cut these wigs are. I don't feel that they're too long. I think they're actually like the perfect length. I definitely wouldn't cut these. All right, beauties, I hope you guys love this video and you love the new Nikita Dragon wigs. I am so in love with the way these look on me. The colors are perfection in my opinion. She couldn't have picked better colors. A lot of Bellamy wigs are all really amazing. I have a couple of them that I wear all the time, so I would recommend definitely checking these out. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys so you can take a peek. I do have a code with Bellamy. You guys can use my codes at checkout to save money on your purchases. So I do have Victoria Wigs if you're interested in purchasing a wig on their site. Just type in Victoria Wigs in all caps. And then for extensions, you can use Victoria Lynn also in all caps. And that will take money off of your purchase at checkout. I do review a lot of Bellamy products because I think that their hair is just so, so good. Their quality of hair is probably the best that I have ever tried. And they just launch a lot of really amazing products all the time. So I'm always reviewing them and sharing them with you guys. And I hope you guys love them too. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. I hope that it is awesome. Thank you for tuning in again today and I will see you in my next tutorial.